got some new mail. Why, yes, I do have some extra virus cores. And this is where he's actually telling you, you can go over to Wise Grunty, give him your extra virus cores, and he will give you stuff. Um, he will give you skill boosting items to raise your uh, skill with each individual weapon. If I hadn't, if I didn't have mine maxed already, then that would probably be a good thing to do. Now, that aside, let's see here. What else do we have to show off? I have gotten every wallpaper. It's one of these. I've got every wallpaper in the game. I know it'd take too much for me to... Can I, like, set it and then hide the back? No, I can't. So yeah, I guess um, it'd take too long for me to actually like display and cancel out and opening everything up, but uh, I've got all of the wallpapers in the game except for one, which you get at the end of the Forest of Pain. Now to get all of the wallpapers in general, you just have to complete all of the... In general, you just have to complete the Book of 1000, check... Um... Um, 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 Apkalu. That'll just about do it. You also want to remember to go back to Raven, or actually in post-game, head to the bridge on Tartarga to refight all of the Avatar battles, and you will get a um, another wallpaper for each one of those, and then another for beating all of them. That should be pretty much all of the wallpapers. I can't really think of how you would get another one. The only one left, as I mentioned, you get for beating the Forest of Pain. Which I'll show off that one after I, well, beat the Forest of Pain. Alright, and that's all of them. And you get music the same way. A lot of these are just like various themes. Fighting an enemy, or uh, fighting Gore. A couple different of the, um, bike mission things, all 18 of Pyrrhos' theme songs, that kind of thing. Crimson Versus!
Now the first half of those were from the previous game. The second half, however, were all from this game. And that goes the same for the Generals. Currently, I'm still using Haseya with Dawn, which you got in the previous game. I actually haven't edited this deck at all for any of the new cards. I probably should. Anyway, here are all of the Generals, starting off with the old, and about halfway through, we'll get to the new ones. Now that is pretty much everything getting up to 100%ing uh, the game. That's um, taking care of all the grinding and all the fun stuff that you have to do up until now. So there's only a choice few things left that we need to do. And to do those, these are the things that are added specifically in for the post game of Dot Hack G. There are a grand total of four or five things that we need to do. Um, well, let's log back into the game. We've still got some, some of them to take care of. So the next thing on our to-do list, which is something you have to do post-game, is beat the doppelganger again. So, in preparation for this, I bought, I bought a broad doan with no abilities on it. I'm going to use the same technique as before. Go in with that set as my main weapon. As soon as the battle starts, I'll change over to the Silad, which was given to me by uh, Taihaku. This should prevent him from having much any effect on his weapons. Now, the other thing I'm doing is I'm going to strategy and setting both of them to rage. We need to do as much damage as fast as possible. And then finally, I'm setting my awakening to the beast awakening. Now, I'm going to try to beat him without a beast awakening, but I give no guarantees. So, with that said, all we do now is just wait five minutes for him to show up.
see me? He doesn't see me, oh man! Okay, he's got his broadsword out, so I'm going to change over to the Silad, as well as change this to my rapid super belt. And then we whoop up on him. How about coming down to my level? How about not blowing me up into the air? That'd be great. Now, I'm not even going to bother with the Rengeki because that means they're doing damage. But that means they're... Ow. I didn't think he was... I thought he was... I thought he got knocked in the air. What a silly thing to think. He's the doppelganger. So the trick here is to overpower... Hit him! The trick here is to overpower, is to overdo... You know what? And then I do not want to change back to dual swords. He has a damage change, which means his SP takes damage instead of his HP. So we essentially have to knock out all of his SP before we can actually even hurt him. It's also important to know about how long the uh, Rengeki rings last. And abuse the crap out of it, because he doesn't do anything! While an enemy has Rengeki rings around them, they cannot act. And really, the longer he cannot act, the better. Okay, I could Awakening and just murder him now, but I really want to knock out... I'm pretty sure he's low on SP. He's not doing any skills anymore. He's still taking zero damage. Now, though he regenerates HP, he does not regenerate SP any faster than anybody else does. Which is about a tick every few seconds or so. Ah, oh, crap, I missed it. Wow, and then that did it again. Alright. You know what? I have a full awakening, and I almost want to say, um... Doing the skill is less effective, because then nobody else can attack as well. How about- yes, we're doing damage! Now all we have to do is be able to out-damage his natural HP regeneration. If that seems impossible... Then I'll just awaken him and kill him, but I really- I would like not to have to. Seventy-one at every tick is not a small number, though. I don't think we're gonna be able to out-damage it. Alright, let's just murder him.
Now, for beating the doppelganger, after you have beaten the game, you get, since we have all of his weapons, we now get... his armor. Other self, which is... Okay, my defense is 159, 165, which is friggin' awesome. And then it also has reduced damage taken by 75%. Reduced damage taken by 75%. Convert normal damage into SP damage. Oh, I don't like that, though. Oh, uh, well. And then we also got Shadow which is better in every way than what I have equipped, and also has gradually increases HP, gradually increases SP, and increased damage from physical spell and attack items. Wow. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, friggin' awesome. So that right there is the doppelganger, and now I am freaking awesome. However, there's still one thing left for us to do. And by one thing, I mean two things. But, if you recall, we were challenged by the Sweepstakers. The ranking members in the tournament who would have taken on Taihaku next. So what you want to do is head over here, go to Limit Battle, and go find the Sweepstakers. They're all level 150 and not to be tampered with. So, let's go see what they can do. Now, they're probably really intelligent, and I probably should have saved. Okay, have the dual guns equipped. Now, since they, are pro since they do probably have really high AIs, that means I'm probably not going to be safe to do a skill, unless I'm counter-attacking the uh, main dude. And that said, I'll probably want to focus on the main dude, just to be absolutely safe. The highly anticipated battle is about to begin! How are they so powerful? At times, the world can be so unfair! We are witnessing history in the making! The fighters gallantly enter the arena! Fight their way to the top, and the other fighters won't have anything on them! Fighting is like a real-time renaissance! The fighters take center stage! Man, this amazing tension-filled scene is giving me a bad case of the goosebumps! How will this fight end? Nobody knows! That little girl's an edge punisher? It's kind of nifty. Do 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 do. If possible, I would like to keep all of you juggled. That would be awesome. Leader is... Leader's weakened! Looks like Natsume's charmed. It'd be nice if somebody would get on that. But we may be able to finish this off without too much trouble. And there we go. Oh, do we actually? Nope, no, we don't. There we go. All right, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Of course, we're like stupid powerful at this point. And even fighting AIs of the same level as you generally is kind of a crapshoot. Ah, and for beating them, we take the team's weapons. 
the Wrathbringer, the Deadly Fear Blade, and Summer's Staff. Three pretty nice weapons, actually. So that said, that pretty much does everything that there is to do in this game. You know, I'm curious if one of those is better than what I have. No, it isn't. And... Ooh, it's actually better than the Scylla. But I like Scylla's special effect. If for no other reason, then it's called Riddle Me This. Um, I will want to compare Adelaide's, though, but I'll do that another time. Which means... Which brings us to the final event. You see, really, the only thing left to do in the game at this point is the Forest of Pain. In fact, Tabby, our friend from Dot Hack Roots, who by the end of the game actually kind of had a crush on Paseo, but that aside, our friend Tabby has decided to log back into the game for a little bit and have just a few more days of fun. So, she wanted to meet us in the Forest of Pain, so we are off to, to said forest to meet up with Tabby. On top of that, it's the freaking Forest of Pain, like we're not gonna fight them. All that's left is the Forest of Pain, the final event, the final ghost from our past, something Haseo is quite known for during Roots. Until next time, everyone.